In our previous look at the AeroNav website from the FAA, we focused on charts. Let's take a look at some of the other options. One is you can get the takeoff and alternate minimums. Click the link. It'll open in its window. Now this is the entire section from the front of the chart book that contains Boston. So you'll have to scroll through and find the appropriate entry. There's Boston. But that gives you not only the takeoff minimums, but also the obstacle departure procedure for that airport. You can also find the alternate minimums. Again, you'll see the entire book. So you'll have to scroll down to find the appropriate airport. There's Boston. And it gives you the alternate minimums for all the appropriate runways. Not all the online sites that offer you approach plates give you the alternate minimums or the takeoff minimums with the obstacle departure procedure. So that's a handy bit. The other thing that the website does is at the bottom of the page is it gives you the opportunity to download the legend or the front matter from the approach chart book. This gives you the key to decoding all the symbols that are on the chart and is again one of the things that's often missing from the digital versions. Going back up to the other free products, Aeronav has an airport facility directory online as well. Again, you choose the cycle that you want. You can choose the state that you want. Let's choose, oh, just for fun, Pennsylvania. Again, you can choose by airport ID, or if you don't know it, you could just scroll down and say, well, let me look at State College. And hit search. There's the airport. Click to view the PDF. The nice thing is instead of giving you the entire airport facility directory, all whatever, 500 pages of it, it just gives you the page that you want. Here's State College. This is really handy if you're in an FBO somewhere, you have access to the internet, you need to look something up about an airport, and you can't find it elsewhere. It's probably in the AFD. Back on the Aeronav website, just a couple other things. You can find digital versions of sectional charts, VFR terminal area charts, helicopter charts, and route charts, even Caribbean and Pacific charts, Gulf of Mexico. If you want any of those charts, all you got to do is scroll down to the appropriate one and click the link. It downloads a huge file, but you do get the whole chart. The other thing is that the next editions will be available here before they're available just about anywhere else in case you want to look something up on an upcoming chart. One other link before we leave this area that's really handy is the Aeronautical Chart User's Guide. The Aeronautical Chart User's Guide explains all of the symbology behind the VFR charts, IFR charts, and terminal charts. You can download the individual sections by PDF, or you can order the actual printed book, imagine, real paper, for all of $5 from the US government. It's actually a pretty good deal. Before we leave the website, I just want to point out this, the IFP initiation. If you want to get an instrument procedure for your airport, this is a place you can start. There's an online request form, and it shows you what kinds of information you're going to need and asks you some pretty common questions. If there's an instrument procedure in the works for your airport, you can take a look at it by looking at the IFP production plan. This shows all of the instrument procedures that are in the works. Let's see what is due to come out next January. We'll choose the January 13th cycle and hit search. And what you're seeing are instrument procedures yet to be published or still under development at different parts around the country. For example, it looks like Greenfield has two brand new RNAV approaches that are right now in the hands of FlightCheck. And they're due to be published January of next year. If we wanted to find out more about those, we'll note the identifier GFZ and go to IFP coordination type in the identifier GFZ. Let's take a look at this GPS runway 7 and we'll take a look at the figure for it. You can see it says prototype not for navigation and if we zoom in a little bit more you can see this one's already being marked up for errors. It doesn't have a VDP so maybe that notes not such a good idea and it has a typo. Is it JIDIP 
or JDAP, it's one of the two, they'll probably work that out before it's published. This is a cool way to see what an instrument procedure is going to look like for your airport. It's also highly recommended if you know a procedure is coming for your airport and you want to have some input into how it's put together, this is the stage to do it. Well, actually, by the time it's in flight check, it's a little bit late. But while it's being developed, you can watch it along each step of the way. If you're ever wondering how many procedures there really were around the country, you can find that on the inventory summary. Here's the totals for all the ILS, RNAV LPV, LDA, and so forth. All the instrument procedures around the country. So far, 16,569 of them. It's a lot to keep track of. There's a lot more on the site if you want to check it out. Besides the free digital products, you can actually order printed products directly from the government here. But then again, with so many things for free online, who's ordering printed books anymore? I'm Jeff Van West for IFR Magazine and AvWeb. Thanks for listening.